Have you ever wondered how to trade Solana meme coins like a pro? In this video, we're going to give you six easy steps to make sure you become a meme coin trading legend and help you find your next 10x. We are here to help you lock in and begin earning insane profits with Solana meme coins. Making Solana meme coins simple with these six easy steps. Step number one, the wallet. Now you can't even start this journey at all if you don't have a Web3 wallet. So make sure you have a wallet. And my preferred wallet I use in everything I do is the Phantom Wallet. It's a Solana based wallet, but also is compatible with Ethereum, Bitcoin, and probably soon they'll be adding more and more chains on there in the future. If you don't know how to set up a Phantom Wallet or a Web3 wallet, make sure you pause this video soon when the card pops up and go to the video we've created in the past that walks you step-by-step step in how to create your first Web3 wallet. You just gotta make sure you have a wallet. So first and foremost, go watch that video, create the wallet, then come back to this video, all right? So do that right now, go ahead. Now, if you already have a Phantom Wallet or another Solana-based mobile wallet or, or Web3 browser type wallet, make sure it's loaded up with some Solana and USDC because you're gonna need that in order to trade any of these meme coins we talk about. Here's a pro tip for you. If you're gonna load up that wallet, say with one soul, two soul, ten, 10 soul, however much it is, and you wanna begin investing, make sure you never drain that wallet to zero Solana because if you do, you cannot initiate a transaction. Once you have that wallet completely set up, if it's Phantom, Soulflare, whatever one you prefer to use, now it's time to go find that next 10X for your portfolio. And so let's get into step two, where we begin to talk about exchanges where you can actually find those Solana meme coins. Step number two, the exchanges. We have three exchanges we're going to cover in this step that are going to help give you an advantage and edge on the market. Our goal in the second step of this video is to showcase to you the three exchanges that we like best, and also to show you how to use it to your advantage against other traders in the market. So you take wins and not losses. The the first exchange is pump.fun. Pump.fun is the riskiest of the exchanges we have in here and honestly not my preferred and I'll give you some reasons why later. But pump.fun is one of the ones that gives you a very, very early advantage on the market where you can invest in coins right as they launch. Here are three reasons I don't like to trade on Pump.Fun. The first reason is the user interface is very clunky and kind of old and messy and I, I don't really like it. Now, in the second reason I don't like to is there's very little features on Pump.Fun. I can't filter out by market cap. I can't filter out by volume. There's only a couple like filters you can use. And, and personally, I just don't like that. I like to have the ability to filter out crap so I only can see the good stuff. And then the last reason why I don't like using pump.fun is it's really hard to find what is even worth clicking on. You could spend hours on there just staring at the screen and just clicking on, on coins nonstop and never knowing if any of them are even worth your time. Now, pump.fun can be used for good things like spotting trends, like what are constantly getting released? Are they dog coins? Are they poli political type coins? Are they cat coins? Like, what do you keep seeing pop up that can help you identify a trend? Like right now we're seeing on the screen, we see like Pepe, cat, dog, you know, weird like animals, uh, a lot of dog coins. So what I'm seeing is there's a trend right now of funny dog coins like making memes on a on a cute little dog and as you can see on my screen every single time you see a yellow flashing like uh, uh, icon popping up on the screen that is a coin getting created and getting released at me and there's not much information i can see here i can see market cap but it's moving so quickly that it it just goes away right away. So I, that's why I don't like using pump.fun. It, it's very hard to get much more information than that. I wanna show you that this is a place where you can get very early entries. So if you're here and you're looking at one of these coins, say we click on one of these that pop up really fast. We just clicked on whatever this coin is. It's called the pay the decks. As you can see down here, this is the name of the coin and you can see the chart that it's looking at. And up here, you can also see the market cap, right? You see right up here, it's a $21,000 market cap. Also on this page, you can see that it has a uh, Twitter profiles, which are right over here. You can see these Telegram website and Twitter profiles. So you can see that this one actually has uh, social profiles. Now that we kind of showed you pump.fun, let's move on to the next exchange photon this is my preferred exchange to actually begin buying solana meme coins photon is the preferred trading site here in the soul maniac channel 
and this is the best place to ape or buy into your first Solana meme coin. Here are three reasons why I prefer Photon over Pump.Fun. The first reason the user interface is much, much cleaner. You're not getting a bunch of things thrown at you. You're able to get a lot of good information clearly on the screen at one time you're able to actually have a clean a clean and clear user interface to see where do i want to go where do I, where do i want to find my information and how do i filter that stuff out so i can get the best possible coin in front of me to potentially invest into the second reason i prefer photon over pump.fun or any other exchange is because i can place a lot of different filters to make sure i'm not getting junk in front of me i'm getting potentially good investments when you're looking here at Photon, you can see that if you go up to the filters tab, you can have a ton of different filters like current liquidity, filter out by volume, the market cap, number of transactions. There's a lot of different features that you can easily access right from the home page and with a clean user interface that's organized the third reason i really like photon over pump.fun is because of meme scope it's one of these tabs up here at the top and essentially it's just like pump.fun but it's way cleaner and gives you better information right so as you can see here on the left in the meme scope you see newly created these are these are coins that just have been created like just launched you have about to graduate with their which are coins that are about to graduate from pump.fun and probably get listed on radium and then you have coins over here that are graduated that have probably been listed on radium and seen a lot more volume than say a very newly created coin that has high high risk now within the photon exchange you need to make sure you create a photon wallet you can't even enter the actual site unless you create a wallet yourself your phantom wallet is where you're going to take your Solana and deposit it into that wallet and it's not a must have you can do it other ways which we'll get to later in this video with things like trading bots but if you would like to keep everything in one website where you don't have to jump around from things and keep it as simple as possible which we like to do here use Photon it's a one-stop shop you can buy you can sell you can limit order you can DCA into coins all the abreast you can do right here from meme scope and get a, the earliest po possible entry on a potential 10x let's get into a couple other settings you're probably going to want to do when you enter the photon exchange to make sure you're getting the biggest edge against someone else that you're trading against so the first thing we're going to set up when you enter the photon after you've created your photon wallet is your quick buy button your quick buy button can easily be accessed right next to the filters and you can just change Say if you want to do 0.1 soul, you just do 0.1. Or if you want to do, you know, 10 soul as your risk tolerance. If you quick the quick buy, it will take 10 soul out of your wallet. So if you had 10 soul and you want to quick buy one of these memes with 10 soul, it's going to take 10 soul. So make sure you're, you're putting a, a, a number that you're comfortable with buying these coins very early and that you're comfortable with never seeing that money again potentially because these meme coins can go to zero very very quickly the next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're at the home page so when you visit the home page you're going to want to make sure you set up the filters to what you want to see so say if i'm trying to get a really good entry maybe on a coin that isn't listed on radium yet i'm going to go down to my market cap and put in like a ten thousand dollar market cap to maybe a $15,000 market cap. Now the market cap isn't the only filter you can do. There's a lot of other filters you can add. Like you can you can look at, I wanna see a, a coin that has ha had $100,000 worth of volume on it to however high I want. So I take away my market cap and I just wanna focus in on coins that have had $100,000 gone through it with in regards to volume and i can see oh in the last 15 minutes this was created this one's 16 minutes created right you can see a lot of information and now you're seeing information you want to want to know and you can also see at the edge here has this one gone from pumped on fun to radium or is it still stuck on rate on um, pumped on fun like where has this coin actually been listed? Is it still on pumped on fun or has it been graduated to radium or other exchanges? So that's all we had for the photon exchange. So let's move on to our next exchange, which is a very, very, very good exchange that also helps you farm for a airdrop that's coming in 2025. Jupiter exchange. Jupiter is probably the best DEX or decentralized exchange. If you don't know what a DEX stands for, which is an acronym for decentralized exchange in the entire 
Solana ecosystem. Within the three exchanges we have given you today in this video, Jupiter Exchange is by far the safest place to invest in meme coin. You won't be getting the early entries like you will on Pumped on Fun or Photon. This is where you kind of invest in coins that might have a little more credibility to them, like say Bonk or Dog with Hat. Now, the really cool thing with Jupiter Exchange, it allows you to have a lot of different features in ways to invest in a meme coin to hopefully minimize your risk and exposure to potential loss on your portfolio. The cool thing about Jupiter Exchange is when you take that CA or the coin address of that coin, you can drop it into Jupiter and do instant swaps. You could do a DCA, a dollar cost average, right? Lessening your entry and more an average across the range of the coin as it goes up and down. There's a ton of things you can do in regards to the way you invest in this meme coin that you really, really like and see the long-term potential. Now, the really cool thing is when you use Jupiter Exchange, you're also farming volume for the next airdrop that's coming in 2025 of next year. In 2024, we all got an airdrop from Jupiter for the Jupe coin that got launched and we all got airdrop dependent on our volume we did on their exchange. And make sure you go watch this video that pops up so you understand a little bit more on what's happening with Jupiter and how you can use it to your advantage. Now that we've covered these three exchanges we really like, it's very, very very crucial to understand the risk that goes into Solana meme coins and when you're investing in these very volatile assets. Let's help you understand how to best identify whether a Solana meme coin is a rug or a 10x opportunity in step three of this video. But before we get into step three of this video, please take a moment to like this video. It means the world. It really helps the content we're creating and also make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and follow us on X so we can continue making Solana simple for you and give you the best possible guides and how to's on how to have an edge in the market so you can continue making 10x, 2x, 5x, whatever, but we want you guys winning. Step number three, avoid rugs. I'm not going to sugar quote Solana meme coins for you because most of them are absolute scams and rugs and not even worth your time at all. But the there are gems in there and that's the whole point of this video is to help you find those gems and ignore the stuff that's a rug and not even worth a second of your time. So how do we avoid those rugs? First, let's look at holder ownership. As we're on the Photon Exchange, we're gonna look at a coin and see what I mean by how do you look at holder ownership? Say we look at this coin right here. I'm not endorsing this coin at all. This is just for educational purposes to look and do some of our research. So this coin was created seven minutes ago. Actually, let's go to this one that's pumped, a uh, pumped up fun, and now is on radium. So let's click on it. Okay, we just clicked on this coin. It's gonna load up. We see the chart, and down here on one of these tabs, you can see it says holders, and you can see the number. There are 256 holders for this token with the ticker BRNGP. I have no idea what this is. So as you look here, you can see there are two wallets, right, that are at the top: radium, which has 21.74%. CAD, which has 9.16%, and then you have this wallet that has five, and then four, and then three, right? You can see that there are wallets with up to 5% holders, and then you got Radium, which is the exchange, right? A Radium is an exchange that has over 20% of its ownership. So here, you're gonna wanna look, when you're looking at coins, you're gonna wanna see how many people are in this coin, right? So 265, 66 holders, the holdership is rapid, rising as we can see right here it's it's growing uh and then we also want to see who has large percentages of this coin because we want to know is there someone that could absolutely dump on me if i buy this coin like say if this wallet 38u8 or b or whatever that is right there this wallet had 20 percent i'm probably not buying this coin if a random user has over 20% of the supply, they can easily dump on me in an instant and just take my investment. Say if I put 100 bucks in here, that 100 bucks could be gone in a second, very quickly. So now the next portion of your due diligence is to go to rugcheck.xyz. Rugcheck is gonna help us prevent buying rugs. That's literally the whole point of the site. So let's do it right now. When you're here on Photon, you can scroll up to here at the top where it says BRNGP and you can copy the coin address, right? So we're gonna copy it and then we're gonna head over to rugcheck.xyz and we're gonna paste the token address or the coin address right here. So we're gonna paste that in there and we're gonna check. Let's check right now how this coin is. What, is, what does rugcheck say about it? 
It says it's so the name of it is Boring Pucks, right? It's originated from Pup.Fun. And this risk analysis we can see on this coin, Boring Punks, is actually good. But one of the key indicators that's saying is that there's a low LP, low liquidity. Only a few users are providing liquidity to this coin. Now you can also see on here is that it's listed on Radium, right? You can see Radium has about $22,000 of liquidity, which is 100% locked. It's a little risky. I don't love that about it, but it's but it's not bad. Rug check is giving us a good sign here. I would want to look at this one pretty quickly closely if I'm going to invest and want to be in and out of it pretty fast. I'm not going to invest in this at all. I'm just giving you an example of how I would do my due diligence when it comes to looking at a coin. Let's try to right now as we're looking, let's try to find something that gives us a like a rug or a danger zone, which most likely would come from someplace on the mean scope area where it's a brand new coin. We got this Kenti. Let's look at Kenti coin. So let's like copy the Kenti coin, right? Let's go back to the rug check homepage. Let's paste that coin address here. And then we're probably gonna get a danger, right? So this is what it would look like if it's a dangerous coin that you need to definitely be careful with, which leads me into my next part of due diligence. You need to make sure before ever investing in a coin, you check the dev wallet. And the dev wallet is the person or persons who have owned or created this coin that you're now looking at. And as we see here on Kenti, right? This coin we just started talking about, we see the dev wallet right here. And they now own 15.2% of the coin. That's a very high percentage of ownership for someone to own before it's even listed on Radium, right? And then if you go to the top traders, we can see if we can find the dev wallet in here, which they are, and the dev wallet is clearly dumping their bags on top of anyone who is investing in this coin. The dev wallet has invested about a little less than $300 and they've already sold $773. And so they've made over a 3X on their money. And so they're sitting very happily. For me, I would wanna stay away from this. If the dev is dumping their bags on the people who are investing, he's probably not in this to make it something worth investing in. He's probably just trying to get a quick buck and leave out. Now, one of the last things you wanna check when you're investing in a meme coin is their socials, okay? So let's do that right now. Let's go find a decently trending coin that has been been like proven like somewhat worthy filter out let's only look at radium let's look at radium and let's look at coins with a million dollar market cap or more right let's apply that so now we're only looking at coins with a million dollars or more let's look at this y coin okay when we're looking at this y coin we can see over here on the far right hand side of the screen right above my head that they have their socials right and the only social that this one has is an x profile so we'd click here and check out the X profile that this coin has. So why an elephant is its page. It only has 34 followers, right? Let's look down. Let's look at one of their posts they've created, which looks like they just retweet stuff. They don't even create any content themselves. I'm not, I wouldn't be very happy with this coin. Yeah, they haven't even, there's not even a single post I can find of their own. Uh, so I can't even tell how is their engagement? I don't even know. They just retweet stuff. They don't even post anything that what, what's their meme, right? I don't even know what their meme is. It's an elephant maybe that's shooting guns, but I haven't even seen a single piece of media. Yeah, they don't even have a meme, right? So that's to me a red flag. This, this social profile sucks. They have less than hundred followers. They have no memes they've created and posted and they only retweet stuff. I don't like it. It's, it's not my, I, I don't like this. Let's look at, uh, this one, Larry. Right, Larry looks like it has an X profile, it has a telegram and a website. Let's go check out their X profile. All right, Larry has 301 followers, right? They're posting their chart. They got a meme, right? Are you too good for your home, Larry, right? This one's a little better. I don't know if this is even worth investing. This is not an endorsement. This is just to show you what I'm looking at when I'm at a, at a looking into meme coin. So not financial advice, this is just educational. What I like about this is they have memes, right? They've created this character, Larry, which looks like a little whale, right? And, and it's memeable. So if you're a holder of this, you can go and use this little whale to make jokes, to post about it, to maybe make people laugh. So I like Larry a little bit better than that other stupid elephant because that elephant literally had nothing. It had less than 100 followers, not even, didn't even have a meme, right? Larry's looking a little better. So you wanna see also when you're looking here, okay, they have 301 followers, but what's their engagement, right? 
This post only got 150 impressions. This one got 605, you know, 1.2 thousand. So they get decent impressions on their posts. It's nothing crazy. Like there's much better, but they get, they get engagement and their engagement and ratio in regards to how many impressions to likes and reposts is pretty good. So that's what I'm looking at when it comes to socials. Now you also have things like a website, which is Larry. You got the coin address up here, quick links, right? Which I recommend do not ever click anything on a coins website, on a meme coins website. Just go on here to see the creativity, maybe some literature, right? They have a story, story and a lore, right? They have some creativity on this website. I like it. So it, to me, it shows that there's a developer that's actually done a little bit with this coin and that has actually decided to build something with this and build a meme, okay? So that's what you're kind of doing. Is there something that can engage with me? Is there something that can farm uh, um, attention from CT or crypto Twitter? Now, the last thing you can do is go and click on their Telegram link up here. And if you want, you can go inside and go check out how is their Telegram? Is it active? Are people in there? What is the dev saying in there? Personally, I don't really love going to Telegrams because it's kind of like sketchy a little bit in regards to link. And I don't know, Larry, I'm not interested in investing. So I'm not gonna go and click in on this coin because I don't care about it. I'm not interested in what they're doing but you can go in and check out what is the dev saying? Are there people talking about the coin or is it kind of like dead in there and no one's saying anything, the dev's not active at all. And you can kind of base an assessment on that on whether you want to buy based on the activity within the telegram. Now, remember everything I just told you from holder wallet ownership, the dev wallet, rug check, checking the socials, you need to make sure you're putting these all together and not just doing one out of those out of that list. You need to make sure you're adding them all together to do your due diligence, because if you do them all together, you're making sure you don't miss a potential important piece of information that will potentially avoid a rug or really help you get a conviction into like, this is a good coin. This is the next 10X. So now that we've given you a list of things to do your own research, let's get into the next advantage in our step four of this video. Step number four is trading bots. Now, when it comes to trading bots, they're a preference. You don't have to have them to be a successful trader, but they give you a competitive edge against the other trader you're trading against in the market. And my preferred trading bot that I like to use the most is Bonk Bot. Now, maybe Bonk Bot is it your preferred trading bot. Down below this video, we've linked three other trading bots that you might like, which is Bonk Bot, Bullex, and Trojan. So you can do your own research. You can look into which trading bot maybe is your favorite, but just so you know, you do need a telegram to use any of these trading bots. They're all based out of the telegram and it's easy as texting someone or clicking simple buttons to do an investment and they're fast, right? That's why you have this competitive edge and that's why you use trading bots. Bonk Bot is a telegram trading bot like the ones I mentioned earlier. Those are also telegram trading bots, but it allows you to buy or sell co coins extremely fast directly from your phone or from a desktop because telegram can work from either one. Using a trading bot ensures that you never miss the right buy price or the right sell price. It'll be extremely quick won't allow you to miss your stop loss or your take profit, and it'll make sure you secure your profits the right way. Bonkbot is very easy to use. All you need is a Telegram account, and you need to go visit bonkbot.io and join the Telegram account and set up your wallet that's in there, send the soul, soul that you need to, and there you go, you're ready to trade. And make sure you like and subscribe to our channel or follow us on X, because we will be posting a how to set up your bonk or another trading bot of your preference, and we're gonna do a how to make sure your trading bot is set up to the right settings so you have that edge. So make sure you subscribe and, and turn on the post notifications so you know when that video comes out. Once you have the bonk bot set up in your Telegram, you're gonna wanna make sure you load that thing up with some Solana. And you wanna make sure you don't ever deplete that to zero so you can make sure you can initiate transactions on the blockchain. And again, a trading bot is not a necessity. If you don't feel comfortable using Telegram, if you don't feel comfortable using a trading bot, don't do it. You don't need to use Photon or use the wallet that we've created in the beginning. But what it does allow is you to have an advantage against the traders you're trading against. Now that we've covered a nice advantage against other traders, let's get into step five to give you potential alpha in the market. Step number five of this video is telegram groups. Now we are almost complete with the perfect guide to entering into trading Solana meme coins like a pro. And this last step telegram groups allows you to be in a group 
and potentially listen to a trusted trader who announces coins when they find them so you don't have to do all the legwork to finding these coins. You just do your due diligence when they shill a coin on their Telegram group. Now, just because you join a Telegram group and you find this alpha caller who's dropping coins doesn't mean these coins are all winners. You got to make sure you still do your due diligence that we talked about in step three. Telegram groups are usually created by CT influencers. So if you don't know what CT is, it's crypto Twitter. So crypto Twitter influencers that create these groups, you can join and they'll just drop in coins as they see them and as they find them. And if they like a meme, these CT influencers are constantly looking at pumped up fun, photon deck screeners. So they're potentially going to find things that you're not going to be able to look at all day, or you're not going to be able to find and they drop it in for you. So then you can just go based on what they say and go do your due diligence. But it's a way to have another advantage or an edge against the market or other people you're trading against if you're able to pick the right trading group. Now, Telegram groups are kind of a preference. You gotta kind of go explore and find which ones you like, which traders you find are successful. And I'm gonna share a couple with you just so you can kind of go and look and do your due diligence and see if you like any of these guns. But these are some of the uh, Telegram groups I'm personally a part of uh, and that I like to go watch and listen to and see what they're dropping in. Doesn't mean I'm buying their stuff, but I like to just check in and see what they're posting and see if I can catch something early. So here are three Telegram groups that I personally use right now. One of the first Telegram groups I'm in is Ice Knives. He's a popular uh, CT influencer. He's been in this place, space for quite a while. And so he's got a lot of reputability and been in the space. He knows what he's doing. He's not someone new to here. He's been through the cycles and he knows what memes and what doesn't. I also am in Solstice's Telegram group. He's also another big CT influencer that is kind of volatile in regards to his opinions and likes to find the memes that might really hit and really make people like take notice. And then the last one is Kook Capital. Kook Capital is a pretty good Telegram group. He's had a lot of good calls that I found. And so I really like to look at his. His is called Base Kook Calls. And so he's also a very big uh, CT influencer. But yeah, I'll drop those links down below this video. If this is YouTube, it'll be in the description. If it's on Twitter, it'll be in the post down below. Now, Telegram groups are the key to success here, okay? I think a lot of people like to put way more uh, weight on a Telegram group than they should be. They're not the key to success, okay? They're a tool you can use to potentially find a good investment opportunity, but they're not the key. Now let's get into the last and arguably the most important step to this trading guide that we wanted to give you for Solana meme coins so you become a trading legend, okay? So let's get into step six. Step number six, C. T. CT, you might have heard this term. You're like, what the heck is that? I've heard that. I've heard it around, but what is CT? CT is crypto Twitter, okay? Crypto Twitter is where people throw their emotions, people do their alpha calls, you got devs, you got content creators, you got alpha callers, you got uh meme coin influencers and and all the above, right? Everybody who's in crypto is on CT. You have to have a Twitter in order to make it okay now if you're like i don't want to create a twitter to go post and like create a social following you don't don't use it for that you don't need to create a social following just use twitter for one thing and we're about to get into that in this last step of the video now ct is best used for one thing in regards to solana meme coins and it's to find trends if you are on ct when iggy azalea started posting her mother coin you would have caught it because every single person was posting about it or when andrew tate started posting his coin or little pump joined solana meme coins like CT is the best place to find trends and identify where is attention going, right? Right now on CT on crypto Twitter, you can see that Billy coin is really popping off, right? And Billy coin is creating a trend on all these cute little dog meme coins, right? You had Scooby, you have, uh, I think, Digi or all these different coins that are coming out that are copying the trend, right? There was a time where politician coins were very popping pop, popping off. You had Donald Trump that had a bunch of coins behind him. You had Joe Biden that people were making fun of him were the bunch of meme coins, right? There's different trends that happen in regards to the Solana meme coin market that crypto Twitter will allow you to identify and hopefully identify early, especially if you follow the right people. Also, crypto Twitter helps you identify 
where is attention going? If you're looking at memes or you're looking at meme coins that you potentially want to invest in, they all, the only thing that matters is if that meme coin can gain and garnish and hold attention within the market. If the meme is really funny, funny, right? Mother, that one was funny and people were able to make memes off of it. Trump coin or the Biden coin, they were all able to really make funny memes off of it, especially with the, the debates that were going on in the election time. People were able to meme it right they were able to get attention and so those ran like crazy so you can now see where is attention where do people find things that are funny like what do people actually enjoy to look at or enjoy making fun of and that's probably where attention is going to go and where attention goes the money goes now that we have given you this six step complete guide to becoming a meme coin trading legend you can now go take this do your own due diligence and hopefully find your next 10x if you ever have questions or concerns or want more insights, my DMs are always open. You can also comment down below these posts or add us on X or YouTube, wherever it is. And we would love to help make Solana simple for you. Like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on X and we'll see you later.